Hi everyone, I'm Robin and these are my reflections. I am here today to do a VR to Auntie Kay's Tarot Insights. Um, I believe her name is Krista. She has uh, given us a wonderful tag called Valentine's Tarot Tag. <laughs> it saved me because to be honest, I really, really, okay, story time. I have a basket of decks that I keep for love readings and I was super excited um, you know, to like pull it out because this time of year being Valentine's Day, because we're getting close to Valentine's Day. I'm filming this on February 1st, 2023. Um, this time of year, any emergency calls that you get for a reading, well, that I get for readings is normally regarding love and relationships and dates and things like that. And just throughout the year, you know, those, most of my tarot readings that are done are, are scheduled. You know, people are like, oh, you know, I want a reading. Oh yeah, let's do it on Saturday. Let's do whatever. But when they call and they're like, I need something right now. It's usually about love. It really usually is. So I keep a basket. I started keeping a basket maybe two years ago when I started really reading for other people besides myself. And I was going to share that basket with YouTube. It was sitting on my desk and I'm thinking to myself, ah, I don't feel like talking about these decks. And then, so I scrapped it. I scrapped the whole thing. I left the basket sitting on the table, went to bed, was watching YouTube and saw this video from Krista and was like, yes, yes, I'm combining that. So this is going to be my Valentine's Day dates to go with my, the Valentine's tag. Um, it, it, I'm, I'm filling the holes for those dates with the, the decks but I'm going to use the deck. So it's going to be starring my, um, my love reading deck decks. <laughs> so, um, that's the premise of my video here. I am, um, just going to kind of just jump right on in. Um, I will link Krista's video below as well as, um, her prompts. I will put them in the description box below if anybody wants to join in and um, you can also find her prompts at, under her video on her description box on and which I will also link below I think I just said that but anyways first prompt your main squeeze deck this is the deck that you go to again and again and you always return so my main squeeze deck for love readings is always going to be the modern love tarot since this deck came into my life, it has been a main squeeze. I think when I first got this deck, I, um, I like, I literally didn't, I, I used it for so many things, not just love readings. I, it was like an extension of my arm. Um, <laughs> it's an extension of my arm for months after I got it. I really, really enjoy this deck. Um, those are the beautiful bags. And here, let's just show you some of the cards. It, it's great for love readings. Um, the, the imagery on this deck is specific to relationships. It has a lot of people, a lot of diverse, um, ca a cast, diverse cast of characters, which I love. I do love my, I like for my love reading decks to have a lot of people in them and for them to be diverse. So um, this is perfect for that. Plus the scenes depicted here, are regarding relationships. The guidebook is fabulous. The guidebook comes with sections for here. I'll just, it's a thick, chunky guidebook and it comes with sections for sing, being single, being in a committed relationship, being at the end of a relationship in a struggling relationship, being dating, um, single and loving it, a general love meeting. And that is for every single card. And that's, for, I mean, every card, like that's, you get that for the majors, you get that for the minors and you get that for the courts. So yeah, I mean, it's a pretty, it's a pretty kick-ass guidebook. Um, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. And it gives a lot of really good information uh, if you're doing relationship readings of any sort. So um, yeah, this is my this is my main squeeze for love readings. Um, and that is the Modern Love Tarot deck from Ethany, Ethany Dawn. I, it's the only deck I have from her, but I hear that all of them have those kick-ass guidebooks. So, um, the One Night Stand deck is the next prompt. It is a deck that you love them so much at first, but in the light of the morning, you ran. <laughs> 
10 for me is going to be in the context of my love reading decks, the tarot of haunted house. Excuse my, I don't know what happened to this poor box. Um, this is, um, okay. So I like to use, I don't know what it is about me and vampire decks for love readings, but I do love a good vampire deck in my love reading pile. And I usually keep the tarot of vampires because that was like the only deck I had for a long time that was like that. And then I got this one and I started kind of trying to use it for love readings, but I never really did it that much until, um, I think it was 2021 was the year that I had like decided, okay, this was going to be my love reading deck. Um, you know, my love reading vampire deck, my, my, dark love reading deck, I guess I should say, because it's not all vampires. There's witches and demons, I think, and angels. Um, so, you know, it's a mix, but it does have some vampires. And I like to have like this sort of dark, gothy, rom you know, sexy feeling in my love reading basket. So I, I'm using it one day for a love reading. And I don't know which card came up but the person that I was reading for was like, why is she stabbing somebody? <laughs> and I was like, oh, wait, it's not that deep. And she's like, it looks it looks pretty it looks pretty deep to me. <laughs> and I was like, OK, so, yeah, this was sort of like a one night hit it and quit it. I tried it in it in the light of day. It's not really good. It, it doesn't really work for love readings for other people. Now, I do still use this um, for love readings if the person's not going to see it. If I'm not going to send pictures or, you know, if it's just like a quick reading or if I'm doing like a celebrity reading or some, you know, someone that's never going to see it, I will use this. But um, as far as if I'm sending pictures and stuff, yeah, nah, nah, dog. It was a one night stand for me. I had to run in the light of day. It doesn't really work because of the imagery. It's too dark. It's too dark for them. I think with the Tarot of Vampires, I never had that problem because the whole deck is really goth vampires and people can kind of wrap their mind around the world building there. But this one, because it looks so realistic, because it's like literally people in a house, I think it just feels a little, I don't know, more less fantastical and more real and creepy and like murder, murdery. <laughs> All right, so prompt number three was the other woman and or the other person or man, the other man, whatever. It's a deck that's pulling your attention away from your main squeeze. And um, so my main squeeze was, of course, the Modern Love Tarot. Since I got that deck, it has pretty much been my go to for love readings. But this year, I don't know, this one, I got this deck. I didn't even get it last year. I think I got it the year before, but I wasn't really using it pulled it out this year or actually late last year for a couple of love readings. And ever since then, I really like to reach for this one for love readings. I don't know if it's the color. I don't think it is the color because, um, this pink is a lot, to be honest. It's pretty on a card or two, but in a big spread, it's a lot. Also there, the cards are giant. So, <laughs> so you can't really, um, do a nine card or anything. I mean, you can, but it's hard to take a picture of that. So, um, here, let's see if we can get some more cards in the frame. So yeah, it's a lot of pink and it's very pippish. And normally I like people in my love reading decks. And like I said, the cards are big, so it makes it hard to do a larger spread. So if you're doing like a me, them, us, kind of spread that's a lot of cards it's hard to get them all on the table it's hard to take a picture of them all if you're sending it off but for some reason I still want to use this deck for love readings I, I don't know if it's I don't know what it is I don't know what it is but I like it and it is definitely um just like the other man right or just like <laughs> just like that situation it's like you love your significant other but you can't stop with this other person that you know is not good for you because it ain't what you're looking for but there it was you know <laughs> all right that's enough of that so that's the other woman person man deck a deck pulling my attentions away from a main squeeze and that is the gentle heart tarot 
by Vanessa Samoya, I think is how you pronounce her last name. Um, the next prompt is the Friends with Benefits deck. This is a deck that I adore. Um, we're kind of like besties. They make me hot, but they aren't my main squeeze deck. It's not main squeeze material. And I have chosen for this one, this deck. This is Le Menu. Sorry, let me get this rubber ran off. This is Le Menu Oracle deck um, by Chef Queen Sugar uh, Tarot. <laughs> this is um, from the same creator as the person who did the Black Hollywood Oracle Stars or the Polaroid Tarot, um, if you have any of those. This is the most adorable little freaking deck. I love using it. It is the cutest archetype deck I own. Um, it is um, a personality deck. It gives you, let me just zoom you guys in so you can see a little bit better. Hang on. There you go. It's a personality uh, type deck. It gives you lots of um, different types of personality. It does have some hits of um, astrology in here. Um, all going along with different kinds of food. It is super cute. It is actually scarily accurate. And I love it. Um, <laughs> I love this little deck. It makes me smile. It's definitely a good mood deck. I would definitely call this a friends with benefits deck because, you know, you know, I'm only calling on this deck for certain things. You know, this is not going to be the main. This is not going to be main squeeze material. I can't use this for everything. But, you know, for them certain things, I'm going to call on this one <laughs> and I'm going to have a good time. <laughs> I'm going to have a good time. So <laughs> that is the um, the Le Menu Oracle deck from Queen Sugar Tarot or a.k.a. Chef Queen Sugar Tarot. So um, and it is my Friends with Benefits deck. OK, so next up is the dinner date deck. This is the classy, good conversation, really makes you think, and also probably a little bit pricey. And I'm just going to throw in here, this was not part of her prompt, but I'm just going to throw in there, you know, that dinner date that you're going to keep close to your chest because maybe this one is might work out and you don't need everybody's opinions in your head about it, right? And I am going to go with this little sucker right here. This is the Victorian Romantic Tarot. It came in a wooden box. I can't find what I where I put it. But um, this deck is beautiful and classy and sexy and wonderful. And I kept it so close to my chest for so long. I just did not want to share it. Like I had a friend actually request it. And I was like, nah, dog, I can't. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. But I um, am ready this year. I'm ready this year. I think I got this last year around this time. So it usually does take me about a year when I'm precious, when I'm feeling like really precious with a deck. It takes me about, I would say about a year to let up off of that. Um, <laughs> so this is about the right time for me to... <laughs> For me to actually use this for other people. I mean, it's ridiculous. I'm laughing because these are cards, right? <laughs> like, it's not like it's like a pet or a child or a family member. These are cards. But um, anyways, these are this, these are going to be my, my dinner date. They're classy. They're sexy. They are sophisticated. They're going to pay for dinner. They're going to pull out my chair. You know, they're going to be a good conversation, smart. They're going to give me all those sapiosexual vibes and they're going to also be beautiful. And I am going to be just like this when, <laughs> when it's over, like all in my head, like, oh my goodness, it was so wonderful. Was it too good to be true? Oh my God. Like, <laughs> So that is my dinner date deck, and that is the Victorian Romantic Tarot. Um, it's so funny because, like I said, last year I did have somebody requ request this, and I wasn't ready to, sh to use it on anyone yet, and I just um, ended up using the 
the other Victorian um, tarot that I have, um, which is, I mean, it's wonderful, but it is not the Victorian romantic tarot. And it, do, it doesn't, it's actually here, hang on. It's actually called the romantic tarot. And this one, it doesn't have, it's, it's very good for romance readings because it has a lot of people and has a lot of romantic scenes. Um, scene, relation, scenes that can happen in relationships, especially in romantic relationships. I'll just show it really quickly. It's not part of the prompt, but, um, but it doesn't have any diversity. So, you know, and the, I mean, the Victorian romantic doesn't have a whole lot of diversity, but they did attempt to put a little bit in there. And I don't know, I just feel it, it may not be diversity in skin tone, but I feel like it is kind of diversity in culture because it's going across different types of cultures. Um, I don't know. And this one, I don't feel as diverse at all, which, you know, never mattered to me before, <laughs> but now I'm spoiled and I want, uh, I want diverse cards when I'm reading for love. So I do still use this deck, um, for other things. It's super cute, but, um, just when I want to look at something cute, I will use this one still which is why it's still in my collection although I don't know um if I'll keep it for a long time because I'm not using it that much anymore and I don't know if I used it at all last year well I must have because it wasn't in order and I had put put all of them in order um the next prompt is club night deck a deck that you effortless effortlessly dance with and I'm gonna pull in this new one in my collection this is the glamorous tarot um, it is by Jessica Horton. And I think she also goes by, yeah, Bruja Beauty. Um, you can find this deck on Etsy. If you just look up the Glamorous Tarot, these are the fabulous bags, darling. And this is a makeup tarot and it's super cute. It's pretty. Um, it's easy to read. It doesn't make me think at all. It's like, you know, going to the club at night with a couple of friends. We're just going to have a good time and, um, you know, dress up, look pretty and <laughs> have a good time. And it's not going to take ourselves too seriously. Right. And I kind of feel like this deck is similar to that. It doesn't it doesn't make me it doesn't make me take anything too seriously. It just gives me my answers without me having to work for it. It's like going dancing. You know, you get your exercise without really having to work for it. It's fun. <laughs> you get to dress up, look cute, have a good time, and still burn calories. It's fabulous. And this deck is the same way for me. And so that is the Glamorous Tarot by Jessica Horton, aka Bruja Beauty. Um, the last and final prompt and the final um, cast, cat character in my cast of deck characters here for my love reading deck collection is the forever single deck. This is a deck that isn't one of my horror course decks, but I pull this deck out for me or something special. And it fills me with self love and I like it that way. And I think it's going to be this one, the Threads of Fate Oracle, and I have the Shadow Edition. There are several editions of this one. This is a really good, I have found in my use of it. Now, I haven't had it long. I just got it last year. I don't know how long this deck has been out, but I have found that this is a really, really good self-love deck. Um, I think it said it in the guidebook to use it for self-love, and I did. And I realized that it's awesome for that. And I will pull this deck out during love readings if I feel that the reading that I'm getting, now I'm about to tell y'all, I'm about to, I hope nobody watches this, but I'm about to spill the beans. Don't tell nobody y'all. Um, <laughs> I will pull this deck out for love readings if I feel that the reading is getting a little dark. Like I feel like whatever's going on in that relationship needs some self-love, you know, some to fix it. Um, if I feel it's getting a little heavy, if I feel whatever's happening there, like the person isn't being, tr isn't being um, 
treated properly or they're letting someone treat them in a, in a way that they don't deserve. If I feel that, um, you know, there's something like that kind of going on, I will pull this deck out. Now, y'all don't tell nobody because I don't want nobody to be like, oh, so you pull that deck out when you don't like my man? <laughs> Because it ain't even about that. It's just when I feel that the person needs to look inside themselves for the answers to the question, I will pull this out. Um, Because this is a self-love. For me, a very deep and profound self-love deck. Um, It's not just like surface level. It's not uh, affirmations. Although I think the guidebook does have a few of them in there. Maybe. Maybe. I might be lying. I can't remember. But um, yeah, it does go deep into your your own self to find the place where you appreciate you where you love you where you want to protect you um connect to you um set boundaries around you all those sorts of things so yeah so this is going to be my pick for the forever single deck Um, The deck that isn't one of my workhorses, but I pull it out for something special. And in this case, that special is self-love. All right. So that is it. Those are all of my uh, deck, deck, wait, dating deck lineup. I think she called it. I can't remember. But this is my um, my my dinner in a movie or my dating decks or my Valentine's deck tag um, featuring the decks that I use for love some of the decks that I use for love readings if you like that video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more from me I do release videos every five days usually on days ending in five and zero Um, so just hit that subscribe button and the bell or whatever and it'll let you know when I'm releasing them Um, or just keep keep your eyes peeled I like I said five and zero. Um, (laughs) And yeah, if you have any of these decks or if you are using them for the same ones, or if you have any that you want to chat about, feel free to chat with me in the comments below or with each other um, about decks that, you know, would be good for dates for Valentine's Day. And with that, I will leave you. So it has been a pleasure. Thanks for stopping by. You guys have a blessed and fabulous day. Bye.